Usually when people talk about Sydney trout, they're talking about driving a couple of hours over the Blue Mountains or south to the Highlands. And those are fun trips that I've done countless times. But for years, I'd heard whispers about trout within the Sydney basin itself, only half an hour from home. I knew that the odd fish had been caught on occasion, but I'd begun to think of them like mythical creatures, the local Loch Ness monsters. Well, how very wrong I was. Little did I know that not only was it possible to catch a trout in Sydney, but that the fishing could actually be red hot. Yes. G'day guys, we're just coming out of lockdown now and we can't get out of uh, Sydney yet to fish but we're still able to fish within Greater Sydney. I've come out to the Nepean, I come out here to practice my um, nymphing sometimes on the local herring and bass but at the moment in Sydney there's something a little bit unusual going on. Because we had a big flood this winter, Warragamba Dam wall uh, went over the top and there's been a big release of trout into the Nepean which is something that happens fairly rarely. So I've just caught my very first Sydney trout. Little rainbow, just got him nipping in the run up there. And uh, yeah, good fun. Something that you don't get to do too often in Sydney. <laughs> so that first fish that I got was just in here, just in the back of this run. Because the water's uh, pretty warm, the trout are obviously going to be sitting in faster water, looking for well oxygenated water. So there's no point fishing the sort of slower slack stuff for them. They're going to be in the quicker stuff. Let's see if there's any more. There's lots of kids and so on fishing down here. Generally the word gets out pretty quick. If there's trout around, it's not a it's not a common event. I'm not getting down terribly deep at the moment. I may go to a slightly heavier bead shortly and try and get a little deeper a little earlier in the run. All right, let's change up fly size here. So that's what I caught the, the fish on. It's a little uh, pink bead of Tassie Devil. But I'll try and get something to get down a little bit quicker. I'll try this 3.5 millimeter Perdigon. That's going to sink a lot faster. because I've got a run ahead of me that I um, that's quite deep but I haven't got access for a lot of it to get up higher into it. I can get into the top part but I want to try to cast from the bottom here and get fairly deep fairly quickly fairly soon in the run. There's a good chance that I might snag up on the bottom but it's worth a shot. That's a herring. Okay. Got a few of these guys. He's <clears throat> a decent sized one. I'll tell you what, they're good fun to catch. <laughs> they don't get that big, but they're definitely good practice for nymphing. Just for, um, you know, for recognizing takes and setting the hook and all of that. I have caught bass doing this as well. Believe it or not, you can catch bass urine envy.
There's a fish. There's a little herring. There we go. Let's see if I can give you guys a look at him. He took the little dropper that time. There he goes. Alright, I've moved up that run a little bit. Haven't got the easiest back cast here, but let's see how we go. Ooh, we'll bite them. It's got like a herring though. Herring bite. There. There's another herring. <laughs> They're good fun, these little guys. Not exactly challenging, but it is really good practice for uh, the trout limping. What I really want is another trout. Because the water's so warm, there could well be trout right up here in this. Fast water. <sighs> That's the problem though, is these bloody snags. It's much easier to fish from this side, this run. Oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a herring or a trout. It might be a big herring. Oh, there's a trout. That's a trout. Little one. <sighs> Little rainbow. Tiny little guy. Anyway, at least I was able to get a trout on film for you guys. It's no monster, but it's a fish. Oh, I'm sure it looked. There we go. All right, I'll get him back in the water because it's pretty warm. Obviously stressed. And there you go, guys. Nepean trout. Pretty cool. I wish we were able to get them in Sydney more often. There's a fish. Ooh. What is this? Is this a trout? Oh, it feels trouty. Yeah, it's a trout. Mm. Nice. Get in there. Here's a better one. Yeah. Nice little rainbow. Slightly better than the last one. There he goes. <laughs> cool. How fun is this, guys? Catching trout in Sydney. Bloody unreal. Ooh, that was a take. Yep. <laughs> that was tiny. I don't know if that was a trout. 
Not sure if that was a trout or a herring. I don't know if it'll do any good in this little bit, but you never know. We'll give it a shot. That might be a bit too heavy. Got a 3.5 on there at the moment. Probably realistically a little bit too heavy for this water. Oh, there's one. I've got a fish. Hey? I've got a fish. You've got a fish? Oh, yeah, it's a trout, I think. There he is. Do you want to have a look? <laughs> He's a rainbow trout. Ooh, this you know guy? Why it's called a rainbow trout? You get, what do you think why? That's why it's like a little bit rainbow. Yeah, see, he's got that. He's a fair, fairly silvery one, this guy, but they get nice sort of colours. They get a stripe of. Do you like of, to hold him? Yes. Yeah. That's okay, Roger. Yeah. It's yeah. Hang on, I've got, just got to take the hook out. Yep, Hang on a second. They're pretty slippery. Don't squash him though, mate. Yeah, he's very slippery. So, are you ready? Just try to see how I'm holding him. Oh, Whoa, oh. there he goes. It's, it's there he goes. <laughs> They're very, no, it's alright. They're very slippery, aren't they? Yeah, I'm too heavy. Yeah. I will try this bead up the top this pool but then I might come back through with a, a size smaller hey, hey. hey you been going? yeah got a few got four trout and um, got uh, probably half a dozen herring hey oh uh, the trout are sort of that size, no big ones, but you know, up to a pound maybe. There's one. Oh, I dropped him. <laughs> he was all right too. Hey? Uh, just a nymph, just a little beadhead, um, it's called a Tassie Devil actually, it's got a little pink bead on it and, and it's just a hair's ear with a pink bead basically, yeah. Um, they do get up here, yeah, I haven't caught them. I get heaps of herring, occasionally get a bass, nymphing. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. He's all right. Probably about the same. About the same size. Whoa. Got him. There you go. You want to reach in there and see if you can pick him up? Okay. 
Can you Undo wiggle, it? don't don't squeeze him, just hold him. Just hold him really gently. gently. Yeah, you won't, you won't a little bit down. further forward, so he, he so you, he balances. He can't hurt you. He just, will not hurt you. Stop! <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna hurt you. They haven't got spikes, these guys. Just like, They're just slippery. Just so you just behind the head. Just behind the head, like that. Just and just very gently with your thumb on top. Yeah. Look up for the camera. <laughs> there he goes. Let's do it. What do you say? No worries, mate. I know they got him. You like fishing? Yeah. Yes, good fun, eh? No, you're alright. Go for it. Go for it. I've already got I've already pulled a few fish, mate, so go for it, honestly. You're not gonna worry me if you if you want to fish it as well. I don't mind. <laughs> Have you guys got a few? Have you caught a few? How big? Nice. Oh yeah. This is a better one. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. <laughs> he felt better than he was. <laughs> yeah. That's not the same one. No, not the same one. No. Probably not, anyway. It does happen. You sometimes catch the same fish twice. Up near his head. Up near his head, yeah. That's the way. You got him. Look at your mum. <laughs> nice. You're welcome, mate. Oh, take. That's a herring. <sighs> Might just go up and try that top little run up there before I head home. All right, I'll just have a few quick casts through this top little bit. Looks pretty shallow, most of this. It's not really great water, but just give it a couple. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I dropped him. Yep, there's one. <clears throat> There is another little rainbow. Flies out. There's one. Nice.
There we go. Another beautiful little Sydney trout. How cool is that? Oh, yep. There's another one. There he is guys, another beautiful little Sydney trout. This is unbelievable. This is so good. All right, well I'm gonna call it there guys. Well that's me done for today guys. And I have to say, how cool is that? I've been out since oh, lunchtime, maybe a little bit after lunchtime. I've probably been on the water three hours or so. Uh, and I've got 10 or 11 trout, lost a couple, got a bunch of herring. It's just so amazing to be able to come out, you know, half an hour's drive from home in Sydney and catch trout on a beautiful river like this. For my entire life to this point, it's always been a couple of hours drive out to uh, trout water. When people say Sydney trout, they really mean, you know, the other side of the Blue Mountains, the Central West or the Southern Highlands. But this is actually in Sydney. Um, so it's a pretty rare event that this happens but when it does oh it's fantastic i love it i'm so jealous of uh you know the cities that have trout right on their outskirts or easily available to people it's so nice to be able to just come locally and fish and catch fish like that unbelievable hope you enjoy that guys anyway we'll see you next time thanks for watching